this video is part of a series, be sure to check out the last video where we went over the basic setup of the hardware and went over some examples and also how to install the library for this. Now after you have the library installed inside the Arduino interface, we go up to File, Examples, and I can go down here to IMG2TV, and we'll open up the basic demo. Now I'm going to open up the NTSC because I live in the US. If you live in another country, you might be uh, PAL um, formatting, so you know, just figure out what it is for your country. You probably already know. So I'm going to go ahead, open up that demo. Now this is the demo that showed a logo coming down. Uh, and then displayed some text, showed another image, some more text, did a couple of shapes, and then um, loaded up a uh, 3D cube that it made. So this is, we load up the libraries up here, and then we have uh, the rest of the code here. It's not a whole lot for everything that it does, uh, but you'll see here in a particular place, it will load up, uh, like here it says, TV bitmap, and then it says zero, 00 and then schematic. Uh, so that's schematic. And then we do the same here under intro. If we go down to the intro function, uh, it gets some measurements here. Basically, this is aligning stuff on the screen, a lot of this numbers and stuff here. But you'll see again, tv.bitmap. And then here it's putting in some math. And then it's going to load up the logo. And there's a few other functions here. Uh, but again, to go back to the simple part of that, that one it says TV logo. And you'll notice that we have uh, TV logo.h here and TV logo.cpp. And same for schematic. We have schematic h and schematic cpp. And uh, the, that's loaded up here, the schematic h and the uh, TV, TVO logo. And um, so one of them is just kind of creating uh, the, uh, the variables. And then the other one is actually assigning an array here of hex code for each pixel in an image. But you can also pass it straight uh, binary bits, so we can do ones and zeros. So to keep things a little more simple, instead of looking at the hex code, I'm going to open up my example. So I'm going to go up to um, Examples, IMG2TV, and I'll go here to NTSC underscore IMG, which is the example code I made. And again, we have where we load the bitmap here. Now the first two numbers, 00, zero that is where it aligns. That's the top left of the image. So 00, zero means we're aligning it the top left of the screen. If you want to move it over or down, you would adjust those numbers accordingly. But here we're loading up a variable, uh, which is an array to the, of the uh, bitmap that's labeled image. And if we go over here to image CPP, you can see that I've put in all these ones and zeros here. Now I generated this with a code, uh, a bash script code that I wrote that I'll go over in a future tutorial. And I actually took a PNG image of Tux and generated this output. But today what we're going to do before we get into that, just to help you understand a little bit better, I'm going to erase all these ones and zeros and I am going to manually create a very simple image. So I'm going to delete all those zeros. You notice it starts off 0B. So I'm going to remove all that. The first little part of this is the resolution. Now remember, our max resolution with this project is 128 by 96. So let's make something a little bit simpler. We're going to do an 8 by 8 image. So now I can say 0B, 0000, 0000, OK? So that's one row of, row of pixels. We're doing eight by eight. So each one of these zeros is either going to be a white mark or a black mark. So let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this and paste it four, five, six, seven, eight times. And I don't think we want the comma on the last one. Yeah, no, we don't. Uh, so right here, everything's one color. But let's go ahead and change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know why I copied and pasted like I did if I was going to change this, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, comma. And we'll do the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we've created, we're going to have uh, a black and white lines alternating. So now that I did that, I can go ahead and compile and upload that to my board. And I'll go ahead and get my camera and we can see what that looks like. So there you go. You can see we have lines on top of the screen, same image, those are lines going down, 
and then we'll have a little bit of text that's in the script and then there's the image with lines kind of centered almost centered on the screen okay so it's very basic and straightforward uh, and so now let's create another image so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change all these to zeros again and now I'm going to take a row here and I'm gonna go 0 1 1 1 1 0 and then I'll go one here one here and basically I'm drawing a picture a picture one pixel at a time one Not perfect, I just kind of made a circle there. I'm gonna add a little one there and a one there. And I kind of made like a circle with two dots, kind of like a smiley face. So I'm gonna go ahead and compile and run that. Let's have a look at that. So there we go. I know it's not the clearest in the camera. And we got a circle with two dots. It's almost like a smiley face without the smile. Okay, let's adjust that again. Let's uh, clear these back out to be all zeros. So it's all black now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to create a Pac-Man type character. Sorry if this is a little boring watching me do this. <laughs> and that's actually one there, zero there. Okay. So I did that, but not only am I going to do that, but I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this to a one second delay, so 1000 milliseconds, and I'm going to copy and paste this line a few times. Oops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over 10, 20, 30, 40. Oops. So basically, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to every second draw a new Pac Man character to the screen slightly over and slightly down. So basically, making a diagonal line of Pac-Man. Let's go ahead and pile and upload that and see how that looks. There we go. Now, I kind of messed up. He isn't really round down the corner, but uh, but you get the idea. And then here he's Pac-Man again, but with a little line being drawn. Let me reset so you can see that again. So a little Pac-Man character is being poorly drawn on the screen, I might say. Um, so you're getting the idea, hopefully. Now you might ask, well, what happens if I want it to be bigger than 8x8? Eight eight? Well, that's simple. Uh, you can these don't have to be written like this. You can have this up here, uh, or you can have the image go down. But you always have to have, after every eight bits, sorry, after every eight bytes, you have to have zero B to indicate a new bit. And um, basically, you would do the same uh, thing, except for you would change the resolution here. If I was to put this as like um, 16 by eight, which won't work because I don't have enough. So I can do like four by eight it would change the way it, the, these uh, pixels would line up. Now, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you again a script I have that can take images uh, that are bitmaps or PNGs or really any format. I've been using PNGs, uh, but I'll talk about that more in the next video, where you can actually create an image. Again, max resolution of 96 by 128. They have to be uh, divisible uh, by 8. Um, otherwise it gets wonky, the picture won't line up properly. Um, but that's it. I'm hoping you're getting the, the, the concept of this. Again, it's, it's not uh, grayscale, it's black and white, it's one bit color. So you have one bit that can be either on or off for each pixel, if you will, that we're drawing. Um, and again, I hope that this helped you understand it a little bit more. 
I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. And then again, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this very easily with slightly more detailed images. You're still very uh, limited because of it being one bit color and low resolution. But I thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. There's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. If you like this video, be sure to like it, uh, comment, and let me know. Uh, share and subscribe, that helps a lot, uh, especially if you want to keep up to date on the videos I'm doing and see the rest in this series, be sure to subscribe. And if you like my videos as a total, be sure to uh, support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash x 1000 There's a link in the description of this video. And uh, of course I have my other channel, which is more software based. I know we're doing a lot of software here, but this is software being compiled for hardware, so I think it should belong on this channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.